Yo, it's Keku, and today we're going to be talking about a quick topic that I talked about in one of my previous videos. So I've been telling you guys that I'm going to be writing a book soon, but then I kind of just changed it up a little bit with the name and how I'm going to format it. So I've been reading a lot of like light novels for like maybe like a few weeks now, and I've been planning this idea for maybe about a month and a half about now that I'm thinking about it. I'm starting to learn more about story building and world building and stuff like that and continuity. I've been I've been going into deep stuff. I've been trying to learn some more about it. I'm trying I'm gonna be trying to write a light novel. I know it's only for like only it's I know popular ones only are in Japan at the moment. But I feel like my idea is like decent enough to, if I can flush if I can flush out the characters enough. I could maybe get this popular in the West and maybe give some Western light novel with some credit or something like that. I mean, that would be great, but I'm not sure if I had enough power and willpower to do it, but I believe in myself and I think I can do it. I just, you have to have that confidence, man. If you don't have that confidence, then it's not going to be working at all. You just have to stay alert when you're talking. You just have to, you have to, you have to pre present yourself in the right way or else you won't succeed anywhere in life. I mean, that's just a true thing by myself. I don't really think of anything else. I just think if you if you're confident, if you're confident, you're, you have confidence, you're, you have self-esteem, you you like to do stuff, you can break out of any mental struggle. Mental struggle being depression, anxiety, or anything like that. I've I, I've never been in those places personally, but I've been, there's always going to be sad moments in your life where you have to just uh, go past it. I mean, right now is a pretty depressing time with going outside right now with all the, uh, the riots and stuff like that. It's pretty sad, but we just got to move past it and we got to be better. If we can't be better, then we can't get anywhere. There's no progress. It's like the story I'm writing. So I got a full synopsis down of the whole story, and I'm going to be going that into depth. A few in a few moments here. I'm gonna. I don't know when I'm gonna be releasing this uh, volume. I'm I'm only on the the progress is I'm only on the uh, I'm on the first chapter now. I finished the prologue, which is what about a thousand words, a thousand a thousand and um, forty eight words. I'm I'm on chapter one at the moment, and I'm get, I'm writing about that now. I'm getting more into Alex's school school life this chapter. And I don't, I'm not trying to spoil anything um, after that. I'm just going to be talking about the prologue. So the prologue is just basically him explaining, him just sitting in a uh, history class and just just looking at his board being bored. The main character's name is Alex Zuki. Alex Zuki is a normal teenager. He's, he doesn't really have anything going for him. He's, he sits in class, he sleeps, and he has little, he has little problems at his house. He has, he has siblings, such as his little sister, um, his mother, and his father that's not really around much of the time. I mean, yeah. Um, but in the prologue, it happens where he kind of explains his... It kind of goes into some of his backstory. Not all of it, but some of it. So it basically shows him when he's a little kid. And Well, I'm going to be talking about something before that, but it's, it basically talks about how he got the ability to stop time. He stops time in his classroom for the first time in about 10 years, I'd say. He's 15 in the, in the manga, in the light novel right now. But when he first got these powers, to around, he was around six, so that's about nine years of, get, of gap. So he, he got these powers from the god in this world that I haven't really explained because it's not necessary yet i'm gonna keep the god kind of hidden hidden in the story until i eventually bring him out but yeah his black his backstory is basically alex zuki he he really didn't like going to church this is based off of a christianity god but it's gonna have some more aspects to him it can be i'm not gonna be going into spoilers because i wanted to be a surprise i want to actually release the first volume which i'm not sure on a specific date at the moment but I have to get all the stuff done, kind of like the the volume cover. I can't draw for like shit, so I have to get all the stuff done. But yeah, well, Alex Zuki was just a normal teenager. He was sitting in history class when he thought of the world stop in his head. Stop it! Stop in his head is is a, men, a mental trigger that kind of activates the powers on its own. He can create time bubbles, 
and space bubbles as he moves time. And whenever he stops time, he has photons in his eyes. By photons, I mean the the more supernatural photons that are kind of kind of like a galaxy eyes, photon dragon eyes, something like that. It's kind of based off the Yu-Gi-Oh concept of how the eyes look. Nothing really else off of that, but yeah. He, he basically has photons, quote unquote photons, in his eyes when he stops time. He can also see photons slowing down. It kind of goes into the sci scientific stuff about how if how would it affect you if time actually was stopped. So yeah, he just in the prologue he moves um pencils in his stop time and he's just very confused by it. I forgot he used to walk to him and begin to reminisce about one of his old adventures and stuff like that. So when he was younger he would always go to church. He didn't want to go to church like many of us um that are here. Many of us that are here didn't want to go to church when we were younger. We would also get dragged around. But Alex Alex was a bit more evasive on it. He was a bit more content on it. He wanted he didn't want to go to church. He hated God. I don't know why he he I know why he hates God. But he just hated going he just hated the idea of it. He just hated oh if we don't follow this religion you're gonna go to hell. Oh come to this thing every Sunday. He didn't really like that. Even though he was a little kid, he still didn't like it to this day. So basically he was he didn't even believe in God, honestly. So he kinda made a selfish bet that was kind of eh that kind of let's say impressed or it got the idea of God that wanted something from God. He basically said these these words to God out loud almost every Sunday service serv service or Saturday service. If you're real, give me superpowers. He would say these words almost every day. He would pray to God and almost curse him out for fun and also say, Oh, if if you're if you're real, give me superpowers. And since 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 the idea of God in this world is basically God is just very interested by this by obviously. Because there's no way he wouldn't give him superpowers. He wouldn't give him superpowers if he wasn't interested in him. Because I'm pretty sure God is tired of everything that he's went through. All, all humans do is ask, 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 ask. And God kind of gets tired of that kind of concept. So when this normal kid just comes around and messes everything up and keeps asking for a selfish wish every single day, it kind of annoys the certain, the certain person, the certain God in this world. Yeah, so that's basically the prologue for now. I finished it. He just, he basically just, about a, men, a mental trigger that kind of activates the flashback. That whole scenario that I just named was the flashback. Um, yeah, but that's kind of the prologue. That's kind of my progress update for now. I'm not going to go into chapter one. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into chapter one today because I'm not even done with it today. I'm going to be changing a few more stuff, maybe editing around and stuff like that. But I'm glad you guys are going through this prog uh, progress with me. It's been your boy Keku, and I'm out. I'm going to be trying to do more stuff in this channel as well, and I'm out. Peace.